Hello friends, today we are going to see how to implement a program to display the student's personal details using XML and XSL. So we are going to start with the XML file. Here we have created file. So first we are going to add the XML version. So here we are specifying XML version equals to 1.0. Encoding, we are using UTF-8, next we are going to give the style sheet type as XML is standalone so we have to give the style sheet type as text slash XSL. Also, we have to specify here reference. The file we are going to use is the student.xsl. Next, we are going to use the custom tag for the student. In that particular custom tag student, we are going to use the personal details of every record of the student. So, in personal details, we are going to add the name of the student. We are going to give the input to the name. Next, we are going to add the address. Again, we are going to specify the mobile number. Next, personal detail we are going to add is the email ID. here we have completed with the personal detail tag so this is how we have added the one record again we are going to add another record likewise we are going to add three more records so here we are only changing the input values of the records So we are going to close in the student tag now. So we are saving this file with the student.xml. Now we are going to open another file. So in this file we are going to have our XSL. So first we are going to specify the version XML version so we are saving this file with student.xsl we are specifying the version 1.0 and same encoding with UTF-8 Here we are using style sheet version. One point zero. Here we are going to provide the 
XSL path. So we are providing this path as per the standards defined in W3 standards. So we are going to give XSL NX and we are specifying the path HTTP colon slash www dot w3 dot org slash 1999 slash xsl slash transform next we here we require the template match so we are going to give template match equals to in double colon slash so slash is mainly used to define the whole document next we are using the html opening tag next body tag next we are going to give the heading as the student database so we are using h1 tag student database next we are going to specify the table border this table border is 1 next we are going to give the specifying the rows whatever the personal details we are added in a xml file we are going to using the same in a table that is the first student name second address next is the mobile number And the last one is email id so this table contains all the rows as specified in xml next we are going to close that tag next we are going to use for each so for each is mainly used to extract the xml elements and add it to the output stream of xsl transformation so whatever the fields we are declared in a table border as name address mobile number and email address so we are going to give the input data or we are going to fetch the data which are specified in xml file so here we are going to give XSL value of select of select equals to name same we are going to use for the address next for the mobile number and for email next we are going to close for each tag respective table tag body tag HTML tag, XSL template, and last XSL style sheet.
now we are going to run the program so all the entries we have entered in the XML student database are going to see in a table format so here we are going to implement the program using the XML and XSL. Thank you.